Hi, I'm Jennifer Guth. Uh, I'm going to be teaching here at the Painter's Loft. I'm all fired up ceramics in Pennington, New Jersey. I'm actually going to be doing a demonstration right now. And I have my student here with me, Kevin, who's going to be learning pottery. So, pretty much to start a demonstration, right? Uh, what I always teach my students first. First, most, most important thing is you want your chair to be right up against the wheel. You're gonna think you're a little too close. There's no such thing as too close. You wanna be right up on that wheel. Second thing is, you're gonna have your elbows into your body. Elbows wanna be right about your hip bone here. So that you're gonna feel like you're gonna have your body nice and centered. So go ahead, put your elbow into your center of your body there, like this. Yep. There you go, great. So, um, once we have our body right up against the wheel, elbows in here, um, we have our clay already on the wheel, so we always like to make sure I ever do this one down, but what we do is we get our little ball of clay here after we've wedged it up, throw it down right in the center. So, from here, I'm gonna get my hands a little bit wet. This is a pretty big ball of clay, so it's gonna be a little bit more work, but it's nice to have a bigger piece of clay so you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my piece starting to spin. Elbows in. I always keep my wrists together, and this way I'm making sure when I push forward against the clay with my body, I'm using my body to push forward and center and not using my arms moving all around, right? So, arms in, elbows in, I'm gonna push forward. So it is a big piece of clay, so let's get that anchor down first. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually getting this clay to stick to the wheel. Pushing down nice and hard. And you can see that my elbows are actually in the center of my body here. That's so that it's not pushing all around. If I was trying to do this, you can see the clay's trying to fight me a little bit. It'd be moving all left and right, but we're gonna get to stick. So I'm gonna start again. Elbows in, pushing straight forward. And that's gonna bring that clay up nice and to the center. I'm gonna do it again. Bring that clay up. Now I'm keeping my hands nice and wet so that I can keep having the piece go nice and smooth on here. If your hands start to feel like they're a little bit too hot, that means that the clay is sticking to you and you're not actually throwing, you're just kind of getting stuck to your piece. So, bring it up again. You can see that's getting a little bit more centered. From here, I'm actually going to keep my one arm anchored against my side and I'm going to use this hand to push this clay back on down. Now, some people do this different ways. You can use it like this. You can use your fist for a little bit more pressure to push that down. Some people also like to do what's called a karate chop type of thing like this to push that clay down. So I'm gonna do this a couple more times. Well, usually I do this a couple more times. We have a big piece of clay here and we have a student in class, so I don't wanna keep you waiting too long. But I'll go ahead and show you what we do from here. Once we have our piece nice and centered like this, we're ready to actually open the piece up. So what that means is, with my hand on the side here, I'm gonna find the center of where my clay is. So the center of my clay is right here. So in order to open my piece up, I'm gonna push down nice and slow to open this up. I don't want to go too far down. If you go too far down, you could actually go straight through the bottom of your piece when you take it off. We don't want to do that. You can also always have a little bit extra on the bottom there so that when you actually do take your piece off the wheel, you can actually carve like a nice bottom on there and trim it really nice and well. May it really make your piece pop. So I've gone down. I've left about that much on the bottom, so I'm not going to go through it. Now that I've gone all the way down, I'm gonna use my thumb and pull straight back to open the piece up.
So you can see there that I've opened it up, right? So from here, I'm actually gonna go ahead, and since I've opened it up, I'm gonna use my sponge here to smooth out the bottom. Make sure I have it all nice and even in there. And you can see that I use my sponge a lot on here. What this sponge does is it actually still keeps it nice and wet. And just so that the clay doesn't dry out, I can make sure that when I use my hands on it, it's still nice and smooth. So I've opened my piece up. And now from here, you can actually see I have quite a lot of this space here. Um, from side to side, I have about this much clay that I can work with. So I can bring this up a decent amount to make it a good piece. Um, for this, probably try to make a vase for today. So I'll show you how I do that. So from this point, I'm gonna use, with my left hand pushing against the inside of here, and my right hand on this side, I'm gonna use my sponge on the outside here just to keep my piece wet as I bring it up. So I'm very gently pushing here to pull the piece straight up. I'm gonna do this a couple times. I might see that there's a little bit of extra clay coming off here and there. That's fine, that's just as I'm bringing the piece up, we're getting any extra that might be on here off the sides. wobble a little bit on the sides there. That's okay, that can happen especially with a big piece of clay, but I can always even that out. So I'm just bringing this up again and again. so far? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. So from here, what I'm going to actually do, what do you think? You want a vase or you want a bowl? Let's do a vase. Do a vase? Okay. So a vase, I'm going to actually call it, but this is called collaring it in a little bit. Um, this actually brings the clay back into the center. You see how I have all this clay on the sides here? I'm gonna push this in. Just like I was doing when I initially centered my clay, I'm just gonna push it all straight up. where you're trying to bang up clay, especially a bigger piece like this, you throw the whole thing off. So, slower is better. So I'm bringing it up again and again. Each time it's coming up a little bit more. Pushing against the inside of my hand to make this shape of the base. 
So if I push from the inside, or pushing from the outside in, it's gonna bring the clay in. If I push from the inside out, that'll bring the clay out. You getting splashed over there, or are you okay? All right. I'm gonna cut all this extra off. Cut all this extra off on the bottom here. So when you cut it off there on the sides there, it just kind of smooths it out. Seen a vase shape yet? Yeah. Yeah. Now you might see here along the sides too, especially with this big of a piece of clay, um, that it's not like you might have a couple little bumps here and there as this is all being thrown. That can happen. For a couple reasons. Um, it can happen if you're not wedging your piece enough before you put it on the wheel. Um, I only put it up once and down before I brought it up. That's okay. There's always a way to work with this to make sure you have your piece nice and even. So. What I can do with this now is that I'm actually going to use this tool. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. And from pushing from the inside, I'm going to hold this tool here so I can capture any of that extra clay that's making it move around like that. Now I'll very slowly come up the whole rest of the piece. And the key word here is slowly. If you move too fast, you can push this whole thing off center. So by doing this, I'm capturing anything extra there that might be moving it off center. And I'm just smoothing out the whole piece as a well. whole. So I've got that nice even shape here. Bring it in. Now I can focus right here on the top. I'm bringing this up some more. And again, the key word is moving really slow. You probably see my hands moving very slowly on this so I don't move it off center. But just stopping it there, it's looking pretty much like a decent vase, huh? Go ahead and make that for your garden. I can still make this right now into a pitcher if I wanted to. Um, if I was going to make that into a pitcher, I would actually take the top and move it like this. But from here, I still have enough clay where I can move it, make it taller, bigger, whatever I want to do. But that is thrown a vase. Good.